Hi everyone, welcome to Dharma Herbs Dose of Dharma. This is your Dose of Dharma for today. So, there's one question about true heart or like true sincerity, right? Uh, so, many of us, we want others to treat us uh, with true heart and sincerity. But, there is one question, which is, do we treat others with true heart and sincerity first? If so, because why do we ask this? Because if we do not treat others with true heart and sincerity first, how do you expect others to reciprocate, right? So, before us, before expecting others, uh, actually, no good to expect, but uh, and before others treat us with uh, true heart and sincerity then we need to cultivate the causes for that to happen, right? So, in order to cultivate the causes for that to happen, and what are, what are the causes? To one, uh, one of it is to treat others with true heart and sincerity first, right? So this is, this is one of the causes. Uh. And the second thing that contributes uh, to others treating us with sincerity is how do we... Um, Treat them. How do we reciprocate when they treat us with true heart and sincerity? Why do I say that? Because of some of our conditionings, some of our upbringings, because of our education, because of our life experiences. So there may be some things in our character yeah, that may make it difficult for people to treat us with true heart and sincerity. Right, so for example, we are very toxic people, so we we wish people to be happy, but we keep complaining and complaining about this and that, this and that, this and that, this and that. Then definitely, you know, this kind of a toxic character will not be able to enable others to treat us with true heart and sincerity, with comfort, isn't that so? So in terms of our character, we also have to make it easy for others to. Uh, treat us with true heart, but of course, it's not like it's not like being uh, unauthentic and trying to be fake in order to uh, let others treat us with uh, true heart and sincerity. It's not like that. Rather, on the on the opposite, we have to develop qualities in our character that makes it worthy of others true heart and sincerity right so so this is this is also one of the factors uh, that counts okay and then another thing is does our true heart and sincerity uh, is it able uh, to go through the test of phenomena and others bad behavior or speech so why do i say this for example i like to quote an example for example, if you're like you're true heart and sincere to somebody, but that person betrays you, and maybe that person's uh, uh, do something, uh, say something bad about you behind your back, and that person uh, uh, may use a lot of uh, devious means to try to harm you uh, uh, or get you involved in some kind of a trouble. So how then? If we don't do not understand, then we lose our true heart and sincerity. In our mind, we may think that ah, it's no good. It's not. It's useless to be true heart and sincere to people nowadays. Everyone is so corrupted. Everyone is so devious. Everyone is so scheming. Uh, there's lots of schemes up to their sleeves. <laughs> so, so that's then we lose our true heart and sincerity, right? But does it have to be that way? Actually, no, you know. Actually, being true heart and sincere to others doesn't mean to let others take advantage of us. This will be the, the, the same case in, in, uh, in the case of loving kindness, right? We have loving kindness for everyone, but how we interact and communicate and work with everyone is different, right? So for true heart and sincerity, also the same. We have true heart and sincerity uh, with uh, to everyone, but if they are a serpent, 
<laughs> in, in their character. They may mean harm to us. You know that uh, their character is uh, maybe uh, one of a controlling or maybe not so honest character. Then <laughs> we can still have true heart and sincerity towards them, but you can choose to adjust the distance uh, between you and them, right? You do you do not have to be close to them, but if they need help, and it's really something that uh, they they are really in need of, and it's a legit difficulty, it's not something unwholesome, then of course we can help them, right? So if we train our true heart and sincerity, yeah. Uh, to the extent where we are able to go through the test of different phenomena and others' bad behavior and others' bad speech, uh, then your true heart and sincerity uh, will be stronger and it will be purer. It will not be a good weather, pure heart or sincerity. It will be an all weather, true heart and sincerity. Right? So with this, uh, we have to, we really, really have to with our wisdom, how we relate to people, and how to be true and sincere, even to people who are difficult. But we do not have to be close to them. But you know, we can still be kind to them, but in a way that, in a way that they do not react with unwholesomeness towards us. Unwholesomeness means, for example, they may want to take advantage of you. They may want to cheat you. They may want to step on you in order to huh, go up the corporate ladder. Yeah, no need to be like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So this one you have to accumulate by wisdom and experience. Hmm? So we have to understand. Huh? Having true heart to others doesn't mean huh? letting everyone uh, take, letting people take advantage of us. And we also understand that our true heart and sincerity. We have to train until we can go through the test of phenomena and others' bad behavior. And in order for others uh, to treat us with true heart and sincerity, we have to build the causes ourselves uh, for others to treat us with uh, true heart and sincerity first. All right. So I wish with this, I wish all of you uh, well, peaceful, and happy. I hope the sharing is beneficial to all of you, and may the triple gem bless all of us to be able to attain path fruition and nibbana as soon as possible. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.